I need to have a colonoscopy, but the Miralax prep is not good for you. So I'm just gonna drink bone broth. I need to have a CT scan, but the IV contrast is not good for you. So I'm just not gonna do it. The glucola test is not good for you or your baby. So instead I'm just gonna do this blood test. A screening colonoscopy or a CT scan or testing for gestational diabetes all have a gold standard way of getting the best results to telling you if you actually have a problem. If you don't use the IV contrast in a CT scan, if it's indicated, you're not going to see all the structures you need to see during a CT scan. And if you don't do an appropriate prep before colonoscopy, your GI doctor may not see colon cancer because there's things in the way. And if you don't do the glucola test, during pregnancy and instead use a less good, less validated option, you may miss the diagnosis of gestational diabetes. To do an A1C, say at 24 weeks, it's gonna tell you how your sugars were doing at 12, 13, 14, 15 weeks, when you didn't even really have much of a placenta to cause a problem. An A1C is not gonna be reflective of how you tolerate glucose at this time. The whole point of the glucola test is to see how your body reacts to a large amount of sugar, even if you may not routinely be taking in that much sugar. It's still to see, is your body able to handle it? So to just do an A1C is not gonna test you if you have diabetes. Even the finger pricks, which we do use for a certain population of patients who can't tolerate the glucose test, is not gonna tell you if you have gestational diabetes. It's only really gonna tell you if you have gestational diabetes that requires medications. So that's why we as OBGYNs recommend doing the glucola test. It's the most validated form. It's the most accurate at diagnosing you with gestational diabetes. And that's a really big deal when you're doing this test.